Hello and welcome. I am Fritz and I am an advanced conversational hypnosis trainer as well as a relationship coach. And today we are talking about stopping intrusive thoughts fast. And this is something that I definitely helped my clients with when I was doing a lot of one-to-one relationship coaching because those intrusive thoughts about ex-partners are very much pro- were very much prominent with my clients. And so I'm going to teach you today this one very important shift that you can do right now internally so that you can reduce your stress, your worry, your overwhelm and anxiety with regards to whatever intrusive thoughts you're having, whether it be your personal health, someone in your life, in your relationships, or it has something to do with your work. Because as you know, improving our mental, emotional, and physical health happens when we have the ability to remain peaceful and calm despite all the storm and all the shit that is happening around us. So let us just begin, shall we? So what I'm actually going to tell you today has nothing to do with distracting yourself from the thoughts um, or telling your thoughts to fuck off. <laughs> um, I know that some people teach that approach when you actually, you know, kind of like argue those thoughts, right? Um, now, that could work for some people, but I'm going to show you something that is extremely powerful and what I personally uh, teach my clients as well as what I use personally myself when I was going through a separation that led to a divorce. And so the attitude and mindset that you have is something that we're going to shift today because truth of the matter is, especially when you're going through an acute moment, for example, it's a breakup, for example, it's like a new transition or adjustment in your work, or maybe you've received some sort of new health news, something that is acute, that is new, that is happening right now. Um, it actually could be normal that you're having these thoughts and your worries, right? And so when you have that approach of sort of normalizing that some of these thoughts are okay and accepting them this is the very very first step to creating this change it is when we fight ourselves or we make a meaning out of the thoughts that we have that actually makes these intrusive thoughts worse so what do I mean by creating meaning like for example one prominent thing for me was that I really felt like a failure and a piece of shit of human being as I was going through a separation because I had all these beliefs with regards to you know separating after a long-term relationship um, and etc and so when you know when I allowed myself to just accept it um, it really helped me to not only get better at it um, get better at handling those intrusive thoughts it actually gave me the the peacefulness inside so that um, I don't like here's the thing when you fight or when you fret yourself, right? When you have these thoughts and you're making it mean something bad about you, that just makes you feel internally worse because deep down you know that those thoughts are valid and what you feel are valid. But if you're finding yourself on it, that creates more internal conflict and that just makes you feel worse. So when I was able to just accept that um, I had these thoughts um, and the key here, the actual main tip that this video is about is just to allow yourself to be curious with regards to what those thoughts are. So the attitude that you want to embody in the mindset that you want to have is just be curious about what your thoughts are and just observe them. There is this massive thing that I learned in yoga teacher training when we were talking about meditation uh, was that yes, you'll have those thoughts. Yes, you will have the distraction. The goal is not to avoid the thoughts. The goal is not to avoid distraction because those thoughts and the distractions are going to be inevitable. But what the best thing that we can do for ourselves to reduce the stress, anxiety, and worry is to just accept and acknowledge the thoughts but not indulge in it I'm going to repeat that again acknowledge those intrusive thoughts or those obsessive thoughts do not indulge in it it's just kind of like validating it so if you're going uh, if there's a thought loop happening just acknowledge that the thought loop is happening and saying okay I can see myself going through this thought loop again but I'm going to choose not to 
indulge. It's kind of like you're detaching yourself from the thoughts. Like you can see the thought loop going over here. What you're doing is you're over here just looking through and observing and looking at it in, cur in a curious way. Not beating yourself up, not putting meaning into anything. Because what this does is that it helps you to notice what's actually going on. It helps you look at things from a different perspective. And just that tiny shift of perspective is really going to help you with rewiring those thought patterns because you're going to be able to see things that you haven't seen before. And when you detach yourself, you can now have the power within you to no longer choose to go back into the thought loop, right? And so when you're able to do that, when you're able to um, have this attitude of just curiosity and observing, because you are not your thoughts, right? You are inherently you as an individual person who is just having these thoughts. These thoughts are just a byproduct. So when you can detach yourself from this, this is such a powerful, powerful thing to know how to do. However, it is not as easy to do. The concept is very simple, but as I said, it's a practice, right? So having something like a mindfulness practice like that, and it doesn't even have to take half an hour or an hour. You can just do this for like five to 10 minutes per day or break up, break it up to five mi minutes, three times a day and just kind of observe your thoughts and de detach from them and, and just be curious as to what those thoughts are so that you can gain a different perspective to really help you shift and find new ways to look at yourself and approach things, right? Sometimes it just takes a little bit of a an angle shift for you to um, break that thought loop. So I hope that this helps. If you have any questions, concerns, um, you know, it's it's really my goal to help people to realize that and no, no, destigmatize these intrusive thoughts. Because like I said, if we put meaning, if we tell ourselves that we are a piece of shit human beings because we have these intrusive thoughts, then it creates an internal conflict that kind of makes things worse. But if we can just allow ourselves to accept and acknowledge and not indulge in those thoughts, then it creates for such a more peaceful internal state, which is invaluable. So try this out. And like I said, this is a skill set that is going to need consistency. This pattern just doesn't change overnight. So keep at it, keep doing it. It gets better one step at a time, one breath at a time, one acknowledgement at a time. So if you have any questions again, let me know. Otherwise, I will see you soon.